Hi and welcome to Sitem Church Online. My name is Patrick Kuchio, uh, the head of missions at Crisis Yensa Ministries. Um, we began a conversation on giants. How do you tackle the giants that you run up or you're up against facing your giants? Uh, please keep this conversation going right here on Sitem Church Online. My name is Patrick Kuchio. Now, giants come our way to basically intimidate us, uh, dominate us, and frustrate us. But you know what? There is a way to bring down giants. And giants could take on different forms or fashions. It could be a challenge that you're up against in your finances, in a relationship, at your place of work, uh, in a pursuit of some goal or some dream. We are bound to run into some intimidating, frustrating, and dominating situations that I call giants. We saw how in the Bible, this account in 1 Samuel chapter 17, from verse 4 to 7, how the young shepherd boy David took on the famous towering giant from Gath. His name was Goliath. And we did observe that they are actually keys to bring down a giant. And we looked at three of them in our last uh, conversation. The first thing we, we mentioned was that to bring or to face your giant, you need to show up for battle ready to fight. Show up for battle ready to fight. Then number two we did mention uh, that if you to bring down a giant or to face a giant, you should not give in to fear. Do not give in to fear. But number three, we said, ready your mind for battle. Now today, allow me to cover the last bit of this conversation on how to bring down your giant, how to face your giant. And I'll say, um, number four, is keep your eyes on the goal. Keep your eyes on the goal. It is no more to be distracted when you face a giant. It is possible to rationalize and ask yourself, am I doing the right thing? I can imagine David as he marched down to the valley to take on the giant Goliath. I can imagine some thoughts that probably, probably went through his mind. I can imagine David saying, am I dreaming? Is this really happening? When you talk on a giant, it is possible to feel at times like, this is a huge gamble. Nevertheless, please keep your eyes on the goal. Keep your eyes on the goal. Don't be distracted by whatever towns from within or from without. Keep your eyes on the goal because the goal is to bring down the giant. The goal is to confront and bring down the giant. So keep your eyes on the goal. It's important. Don't be distracted. There are many things that could come to distract you when you apply yourself to tackling that giant. There are all manner of voices from colleagues uh, from within, from without that are bound to distract you from this assignment. Do not be distracted. Keep your eyes on the goal. But number five, I'll say, work with what you have. Work with what you have. Because the no more thing to default to when you're up against a giant are the things that you do not have. Your inadequacies, your incompetences are bound to be magnified in the face of battle when you are tackling a very intimidating, a very frustrating situation. You see, David, when he goes before the king, the king tells him, okay, let me, let me clothe you with my armor. So he gives him his military fatigue with which he wanted David to face the giant. But you know, the question that goes through my mind is that if this equipment did not work for you, Saul, why do you think it should work for David? If you thought it was the winning formula, why didn't you employ it in battle? So David walks around, he tries out this equipment, and he goes like, uh-uh, king, I am not used to this kind of a thing. 
I am a shepherd boy. I have tried and tested equipment. A stick, a sling, and stones. That's what I use for tackling giants. I have fought the bear, I have fought the lion. I have faced giants with just a stick, a stone, or stones, and a sling. So, do not look to your incompetencies or your inadequacies. You'll be surprised that you already have what it takes to face the giant. For some of us, we already have the language, we already have the skill, we already have the mental fortitude, we already have uh, the connection, we already have uh, the network. What is it that you have available? Work with what you have. David decided I will not go in Saul's armor, I will go with what I have. And the giant was shocked. He goes like, who do you think I am that you come at me with a stick and a stone? Do you think I'm a little bad? And David goes like, mm-hmm. This is going to work and work real hard. So, work with what you have. But number six, I'll say, give it your best shot. After there had been this taunting from both David and Goliath, the Bible says that David reached into his bag, got out a stone. Because he had picked five stones, put them in his bag. But he didn't need the entire five stones. He just needed one stone. And I can imagine David swinging that sling. And by the time he released that stone, he aimed for this one area where he knew with one strike, I would bring down the giant. Remember the giant was all covered up in bronze. A bronze coat weighing 125 pounds. He had a helmet of bronze as well. He was all covered. His feet were covered. There was almost no opening to bring down this giant. But probably there was one exposed area in his forehead because the Bible says this stone went and hit Goliath in his forehead. It sunk and down came the giant. He gave it his best shot. Do not make excuses for this battle. Do not run away from this battle. Confront your giant. Give it your best shot. Reach out deep within and bring out your best shot. And give it your best shot. You'll be surprised that you have, a, you have an option you have not quite explored. You have an idea you have not yet considered. There's a phone call you have not made. It might be the best phone call. It might be the best idea. It might be the best strategy to employ. Give it your best shot. And finally, how do we deal with the giants we face? Number seven, I'll say, remember that it is in God's interest for you to win this battle. It is in God's interest. How many of you agree with me that it was in God's interest that Israel wins or won the battle against the Philistines? It was God's will. So please remember that it is God's will for you to bring down that giant. Don't run away from the battlefront. Go for it. Once again, my name is Patrick Cuccio. Uh, this is System Church Online. Let's keep this conversation going on our social media platforms, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And tell me about the giants that you're bringing down and that you're up against. The Lord bless you.